and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to be using the Stamparatus and we're going to be using Tea Together, one of my absolute favourite stamp sets. Um, it has a coordinating die which you can get free during celebration only until the 31st of March, um, which cuts out the flowers and the teapot and the teacup. Um, and there are some lovely sentiments as well. This is just an absolutely lovely set because the flowers on here are just beautiful. We're using this little flower and we're using this little flower today. And I've got the Stamparatus out and we are using the, um, the wreath grid, which um, I was turning around and telling you about the other day. Very, very simple to do. Um, this is a piece of five by five. And you can see if you just put it in on the grid paper, because this grid paper is designed for the Stamparatus, it fits perfectly. And then you just mark your points and draw it through with um, a Stamping Right marker and then take your points and draw it through again. So you have a very simple, easy wreath and... Um, that's what we're using today. So we're going to start off with the flower and I'm just inking it up in a good black ink and we are just going to take it round onto the points, turning it round each time. You will get eight flowers, so that's two. Turn it round again. My lights make it quite difficult for me to see exactly on the top of this. I normally have my head over it far more, but um, it still works absolutely brilliantly. So let's take that up to the top. And such a simple, easy thing to do. It's beautiful to make really pretty circles or wreaths as they call them as I say I always think of wreaths for Christmas but um, circular patterns are really good to do and the only way you can do it is with um, the Stamparatus or a positioning tool because you can't get it absolutely accurate otherwise so it's a very simple easy thing to do and these flowers or any floral images work really well you just need to balance exactly um, the flowers that you put together and uh, and then you can um, just turn it round and as I say make some just beautiful cards so this is um, this is this flower on there which as I say I think is absolutely beautiful so that's um, that one now I'm just going to take the Simply Chamois, which is absolutely perfect for this. The stamping scrub is great, but you can't really get the scrub in on here. So this works perfectly. Um, you also don't get the lint that you get if you are using um, baby wipes and things like that. Now we're going to take this tiny little um, rose image and what we want to do is start it back at the beginning here. Line it up on those marks like that. And then we are going to take, make sure it's the right way up. We're just going to line it in that little space in between. So just lining it through hopefully I didn't get my head right onto my camera okay and then pick that one up like that and then we're going to do exactly the same process and this fits perfectly in between turn it round in again I could probably have moved it just a little bit further along but it will work for this one once it's colored in it will be absolutely fine 
and I will show you one that I've finished. So we're going to take that all the way around. And as I say, I could have eased it across just a little bit on this one, but it will work perfectly. And as you can see how quick and easy it is to just make these beautiful patterns round. So take it round. And the 5x5 five five is great because it fits right up to the corners. So um, it actually makes it really good to do um, right the way round. Make sure it's lined up. Um, I always, because I've done mine and I've laminated it purely so it will last a lot longer, I put one magnet right at the top like that and then use the other magnet at the bottom. As long as they are far away from each other, they won't um, attract and grab together. Um, and then when I've finished, as a habit, I always take it off move it out of the way um, before I put it back underneath so that I know that there's no chance of them touching. Um, if they touch, they are designed to be exceptionally strong and they will shatter. Um, so if you are careful, that doesn't happen. I've had my Stamparatus now since they first came out and I haven't had a problem at all. So that's all we're doing with the Stamparatus on there. So let me move that out of the way. Um, as I say, I should have eased that one across just a tad. That was just me in wrong alignment rather than anything else. But let me show you. I'm not going to show you colouring it all in. But let me show you um, it as a completed card. So this one I have coloured in with our blends. And I have used the light and the dark um, Highland Heather. And I've used the light and the dark. Um, what? Which pink was it? It was um, petal. Petal pink, yes. So the light and the dark on the petal pink on there. And then our... Um, I can never remember all the names offhand. This was the Granny Apple Green Light and Dark. But you can see it just makes an absolutely beautiful pattern. You can put whatever sentiment you want in the centre. This one was taken from the Butterfly Gala. Um, and again, I just put some uh, um, some little gems in the centre on here. But you can see it makes a beautiful card. Um, and I didn't do any background at all um, or matte on it. I literally just put it up on some dimensionals. And I think it just makes a beautiful card. So I hope you'll try that with the tea together because it is a lovely stamp set. And every single part of this looks absolutely beautiful. So you do use all of the different stamps and this is just a beautiful card to use it with. So thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.